welcome to another episode of Pot Side Chats, where we talk all things China. I am Steph, this is Nathan, and today we're coming to you from the World Internet of Things Expo right here in Wuxi. Now, the Internet of Things is a term used for any and all devices connected to the Internet, which in our modern society, that's pretty much everything. Yeah, experts estimate that by 2030, 75% of all things will have IoT connectivity. And Wuxi is China's IoT capital, home to over 3,000 IoT companies. Now, this has been running here since 2010, but we're very excited to see what is new this year. Absolutely. So, what are we waiting for? Let's split up and then compare notes later, yes? Good idea. See you later. Okay. The Internet of Things has so many applications, but how does it fit into everyday life? Health and fitness is an industry that has been revolutionized thanks to IoT. Fitbits, health monitors and smart tech is making it easier to stay healthy. The Internet of Things has even been used in sports technology where skiers can track their performance from a chip on the skis that goes directly to their phone. With ports like these around the city, bikes like this can charge in a matter of minutes. IoT is even giving the insurance industry an upgrade, ensuring that accidents happen less. Insurance companies can install hardware into cargo vehicles like this one to alert the driver if they're at risk of falling asleep at the wheel. Robotic arms like these can lift loads up to 200 kilograms. This particular series relies on a 23-bit absolute encoder, which makes it extremely precise, perfect for assembly lines and industrial manufacturing. Back home in England, I'd get around on one of these, but here in Wuxi, the public transport looks a little different. So right now I'm waiting for a self-driving minibus. There are a total of seven lines that are operating within the city of Wuxi. The buses have sensors all around, which means there are no blind spots and it can travel up to speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. So right now it's assessing the traffic coming along. It's trying to make its way into traffic so it knows how many cars are there and now it should be safe enough to to go. Wow. And you can actually see the trajectory of the bus on the road so you can see where it's thinking about going. Driving now for a couple of minutes and to say that there's no driver and this is my first time in this type of vehicle and trusting this technology I actually feel quite safe. I can see what the bus can see, I can see that the sensors are all working just fine. It's making me feel very relaxed and secure and I'm enjoying the ride. The IoT is not just highlights at an expo, you can see it in the real world. And the best place to see that in Wuxi is Xuelang Town. Let's explore. Hayo 控制系统
how did you like the IoT Expo? Oh, I had a wonderful time. A standout moment for me was getting in the driverless vehicle. It was surprising how quickly I forgot that nobody was driving the bus and how safe I felt for the entire time I was in it. Oh, that's perfect. Because Wuxi is actually the focal point for China's efforts to create an IOV ecosystem. Well, the future is going to be an exciting ride. From the technology that I've seen here, it's far superior to previous models. And that's across so many different industries. And you experience so many different industries. You got your hands on a lot of things. Oh, yeah. You know, IoT covers a lot of things from health, transport, manufacturing, communications. Uh, you know, we're talking about the future, but it's quite clearly already here, and it's definitely in Wuxi. I've heard some reports estimate that by 2026, over 10.25 billion things will have IoT connectivity, which is wild to think about. And that actually aligns with the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China's push for the deep integration of digital economies with pre-existing economic models. And IoT is already helping companies achieve that goal. Speaking of which, how was your time in Shuelong Town? It was very cool. So Shuelong Town is part of the economic development zone there. And I visited Shuangliang Company, which is all about green energy and an organization of that scale really putting environmental protection at the fore using IoT pre uh, connectivity is uh, very cool. And when you're looking at a city like Wuxi that has so many traditional manufacturing companies, bringing IoT alongside of that to uh, assist in bringing them forward into the future, as you've said, is, uh, is a massive undertaking, but they're doing great. Excellent. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed all the tech that you've seen in this episode. I am certain that you'll be seeing this in your cities and in your lives if you're not already seeing it right now. Thanks for joining us for Potside Chats, and we will see you next time.